now as we continue with tonight's episode of Pantomime Playhouse, stepping into the vocal spotlight, here are Inspector Dan Rowan and his assistant, the adorable Dick Martin. Good evening. Let us meet together once more, dear friends, and offer praise to the NBC network that we are indeed meeting together once more. And we came here to bury Caesar, not to <laughs> praise him. No, we came out here in the beginning to... I tell you, tonight, why don't you tell the people who's on tonight's show? I'll bet you think I don't know, huh? Oh, no. I, uh, you I've, always know. Go I've ahead. I've been doing my book work. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. The homework. Her, yes. Yeah. Well, tell them. All righty. I happen to know this week. Mm. Terry Thomas is on tonight. My right, golly. Wild that, British that's, actor. That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Who yeah. else? Who yeah. else is on just, tonight? Go, just test me. Go ahead. Go on. Sally Field. <laughs> I knew. That's true. Uh, but who else is here? Well, a regular bunch of cuckoos. No, come on now, have, right? come on. Who else is here? Well, a regular gang. Come on now. Who, huh? What are you you always... and me? No, no, you always say There's it. There's nobody else, huh? I studied. Now, come on, you always say There's say... nobody else, huh? How about John Wayne? Come on now, you told me last week not to mention his name anymore, that the people would be expecting him, and he's not going to be here, folks. I'm he's sorry. here tonight. He is not here. Now, uh, I must apologize for my Now, partner. you don't have to apologize because I tell you he's here. You're putting he me on. He has been listening, he's been watching the show, and he's been hearing all the things you've been saying about him for the last three or four weeks, and he has something to say to you. That's hogwash and poo. It's neither one. <laughs> He is here, and, and I'm going to convince you. Ladies and gentlemen, just about the best friend the world has ever had, Mr. John Wayne. You're going to get in trouble. Good evening, Mr. Wayne. Nice to see you, Dan. I believe you wanted to say something to my partner. I sure do. <laughs> well, hey. There he is. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wayne. Goodbye, Mr. Martin. <laughs> See you around, Dan. Thanks a lot. See you later at the party, pal. Good night, Dick. Has the devalued pound affected you? Oh, not really, my dear. I put everything I had into revolving doors and paper towels, and I was wiped out before I could turn round. I come from a broken home. I broke it myself. If I'd known integration was coming so soon, then I'd have waited to marry the woman of my choice. <laughs> The clergy should have a union. Why not? We're all white collar workers. <laughs> Harry and I met in the tunnel of love, and when we came out, he scuttled the ship. In Britain, we like to think that the youth of today are the mothers and fathers of tomorrow. Is that so? In America, our problem is to keep the mothers and fathers of tomorrow from becoming the mothers and fathers of today. <laughs> Boris says making love is only another form of free enterprise. <laughs> it is said the jackass is a beast of burden, but it is a camel that has the big problem. <laughs> and above all, remember these three little words. Don't argue. That's only two little words. See, you're learning. <laughs> Especially your muffins. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. I feel the same way about you. My parents say I don't know what good clean fun is. And they're right. I don't know what good it is. You can't buy true love for a thousand dollars. Maybe ten years ago, but not today. <laughs> Sun will be out tomorrow. Please, my dear, I'd rather not talk shop. <laughs> well, in fox hunting, the leader yeah. wears a black uh, velvet hat yeah. and a pink velvet jacket, and he's followed by about 20 or 30 men. In that outfit, I'm not surprised. <laughs> 
You know, it's amazing. First skirts were down around the ankles, and then around the knees, now the thighs. Where will it all end? Do you still use the metric system over there? Not since my wife took the pill. <laughs> the fact that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away doesn't make the Lord an Indian giver. Reverend Mother, get over here quickly. There's a bunch of people here and they're all flying. 